Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Uh, let's go, on, eight nine. Welcome to Buckland. Come here, come here. All the way from the fucking east side. Pull them. Let's go, on, what you want, gang? Ain't no shit, folk chilling. Back in the rock, folk. Seeing what motherfuckers on. Word. Chilling with folk now. Full now. Well, welcome to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. No, Let the folks know who you got on the couch with you. Shit, I got number four now, folks. On my left, I got a little wheel right here, folks. Look at that sleeping shit, folks. I got Blockstar, Nemi, Eastside, Mari, folks. You know, he got new shit coming soon. Tune in, folks. I got Blam in the car with me, folks. That's four now, folks. You know, we don't call him Blam for now. I got my boy Dooski on the side of us, folks. Y'all probably can't see him. Y'all can, folks. Yeah, that's four now, folks. We came from the Eastside, folks. Can't fuck with you. Four that's now. what's up, man. But well, definitely um, welcome, and, and, and thank you for, you know, pulling yeah. up on us, right? I know that. Lil Scorm 89, that's the name we've been seeing all over the Reddit, you know what I'm saying, posts, uh, you know, uh, doing hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, you know what I mean? Um, so we definitely, you know, interested in, you know, uh, you like one of the newcomers of the Chicago rap scene right now, you know? Yeah. Um, and you know, with us having this platform, we like to, you know, see what's going on, right? Yeah. So let's take it from the top, Lil Scoon. Can you tell us where you from? I'm from the South East Side. Matter of fact, I'm from the East Side of Chicago. South Chicago area for really all of it through the East Side for but really over there. Originated from 88, 88, 87, 89 and Burley for all up and through the Germano Mill Gates projects. You know, we got but you know it's other for now. Like Libro, Libro now from 78th and that's a shorty mark. And shout out Lil Dodie Road too, folk. And so we all gonna be 74th for Kingston, 78th for Essex, and 88th for Burley, 4 AC, folk. Okay, cool. And for now. So can you tell us what it was like for you growing up on the southeast side of Chicago? Shit, folk. I've been cooling, folk. I used to hoop and shit, folk. But I used to do bad shit like steal bikes, steal basketball rims and shit, goofy shit, folk. Running at Family Dollar and shit, play fighting the guys, folk. Making them call the police, throw rocks and shit. Little shit, folk. I started doing really shit when I was 15. That's when I started doing little, you know, a little more shit that'd get motherfucker locked up and shit. But yeah. Okay, so, okay, before, let's, before we, you know, get to age 15, can you tell us if you had both? Parents in the household growing up? Uh, pops, a short amount of time. Like my early, early life. My OG, though, though. You know, it is what it is, folks. I love her to death. She's strong, folks. She know that, though. For now. So, what's your relationship like with your father? Uh, I ain't even go to come over here and talk bad about him, folks. Eat, eat up, folks. I just say he, he done now. That's all I'm going to say. For now. So. And as far as as far as siblings are concerned, can you tell us how many brothers and sisters you got? Shit, two sisters and three brothers. Shit, I got a million brothers, folks. These my brothers right here, folks. Yeah, yeah. Word. I love it. I don't got friends, so I got brothers. So that. And within your, you know, within your bunch, what do you fall in the age range? You the oldest, you the baby, you in the middle or what? Shit, the middle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So you say it was around like age 15 in which you start hanging out in the streets? That's like your sophomore year of high school? Yeah, yeah. I was doing little shit though, you know. Stealing cars and shit for lonely and my boy seven folk. And I was fucking around with big bro folk. Word. Yeah, yeah. So y'all was stealing cars and like taking them on joy rides? Yeah, uh, if you know, you know. That's what I'm gonna say. Type shit. But yeah, we were still, we- <laughs> Hell not. Nah. All right, sometimes, but we was kids though, folks. Mm-hmm. You can't do shit at 15 years old, no. You know, folks. That's the yeah, that music point. Pull up on hoes and shit, but goofy shit like that, you know? Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, so what, it was just the thrill love being able to, yeah, yeah, that's to, when that to get kid... in the car and, you know, Hell make yeah. that bitch drive? What? Stop playing. Man, I'm 15 years old. You got you 15 years old driving a car. You happy as hell, you pulling up on hoes, they think you this your shit. I'm like, dead homie, that's what he's doing. So, so is it safe to say Lil Scoom, like one of the original Kia boys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I'm gonna let Milwaukee keep that shit. Milwaukee got that shit. That's the kid boy city. And they start that shit. Word. So, so okay. Um, now you jump off the porch and you know y'all outside. Y'all having fun, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, stealing cars and you know, like you said, going to see young ladies. You know, um, when this when did things you know like start get serious? You know, within you and your friend group. When did street stuff escalate for yourself? Like around what age? Like like around what age did you lose your first homie? Damn, 16. Okay. My cousin. I was 16. Well, that was two years ago we lost double O. Cause how old are you now? 18. Oh, wow. Damn. Hold on. You young as fuck, gang. Yeah, I just turned 18. Damn. Okay. Yeah. What you thought? What you thought? No, nah, you a shorty for real. I, I ain't. Damn, you probably the youngest motherfucker we the had on this bitch. Damn, damn on what? Damn. On what? Yeah. On the photo we just made history of Go our back. dead cousin. <laughs> If we, I'm not mistaken, yeah. Big, big flame right now. Yeah, for sure. All right. But okay, nah. so you? Oh wow. Okay, let's not. Damn, let's, how old y'all thought I was? I mean, shit, you never know type shit. But I ain't know you was. I mean, I thought you was in like your twenties, like you know, Hell 21, no. 22, 23. That's f up. All the hoes be thinking I'm that too. I mean, just I was thinking that just based upon you know, uh, I see you, you know, associated with. I know they and they, you yeah. know. Ah uh, hell no, nah, fool. These my big brothers. In their early twenties. How would you think little boy is? I mean, I don't know him. I've never seen him. Man, this shit real. I'm just talking about like you and you know. Uh, nah, I know that fool, but this shit. The other rappers. This shit started. Okay, off. cool. So age eighteen, and you just turned eighteen. Yeah, yeah. May so 12. you just jumped off the porch for real. You just got uh, out here for real. Twenty nineteen, yeah. You really still a little wet behind the ears. <laughs> Dumb you young ass. as hell. That's what you think, fool. You young as hell. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm young. That's that's an age though. My mentality way different. Okay. What's going on? Okay, cool. So you said it was around sixteen in which, you know, you lost like somebody that was close to you. I yeah. I, ain't gonna lie. I lost two people back to back. Okay. For them, my boy double R and seven for That shit f me up, I ain't gonna lie. That was my real nah, really yeah. That was my real, real heartbreak right there. Okay. Losing both of them. Two people that was important to me too, and real close. So that shit, that dude, that made shit even worse than then. Cause then it like it took a turn though. You know, like see what I'm saying? Like shit was just like we thinking shit good. Like everybody know when you jump in the streets, you ain't got no dead homies now. You thinking this shit chicken ass folk. We outside doing us. We big folk. Oh my god, it's great. We yelling out what's called. We linking up with little bro now. We out here Kia riding, all type of shit. You couldn't tell us shit. We riding the east side. Shit, lost them two folks. Shit got serious. That's when motherfuckers had to tighten up. All that loose, goofy shit. All that woo this. Hell no. Nah. Just because we young, folks, anybody can die. My little brother double, I died at 14. My cousin Gray. So this shit, like, fucked up for real. Seven wasn't even old. That, like, that much older, folks. I think Blood just really just turned 21. And that, that, that shit happened, what, last year? So, like, yeah, he was just 20. So, this shit real out here. This shit definitely real out here, right? And so now I am glad that we're having this conversation because I'm 33 years old, you know what I'm saying? Well, and so lately, I've been trying to connect with the young men that's in their early 20s. Well, so now. with you being here at age 18, I'm definitely interested. What I'm interested in is the mindset. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's really going through y'all mind? Like, what's really going on, right? Um, Cause y'all doing the same shit that everybody else done been doing. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the years, but you know we live in a different time, right? You know what I'm saying? We live in a social media era. You know what I mean? We live in. That's the, in the problem, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's the number one problem. Social media. That's what these young kids. I'm still young too, but that's what these goofies. I'm gonna say believe. All right, we, you, all right, motherfucker, you see us like, all right, bet, like, everybody be tweaking our brother, look, y'all. Everybody be tweaking off him for all on social media. But what y'all don't understand behind closed doors, this is what y'all see on social media. That shit not real. And that's what these, that's what people like my age don't understand. Social media is not real. They think that shit, they real life. They put their whole business out there. If I let you know something on, Insta, on, on IG or whatever, just know, I know it's it's like I know the repercussions that's gonna be behind it, anything. 
And then I know this shit ain't fake. What the fuck? That shit is social media. That shit is for entertainment purposes only. So I'm putting shit up there for entertainment purposes only. You ain't gonna see me do much of that shit. A lot of people was dying because of social media. They letting that shit get to their head. Yeah. I don't get no fuck though. Yeah. Okay, now now speaking of, you know, Bloodhound, Lil Jeff, R.I.P., you know what I'm saying? That's you know a young- that blood, blood out, folks. You know that's brother. That's a young man that we had the, you know, honor of interviewing, you know, and I know that's somebody you've had the pleasure of working with as well. Uh, can you tell us when you first met Lil Jeff? I might just say it's last year. Okay. Not even on the rapid shit, though. That's what people fail to realize, so I don't even be ready to be talking about that shit, though. I just be keeping that shit, go- I be keeping that shit going. Mm-hmm. So, but me and brother was never linked up on no rapper shit. This is way before all that Nightcrawler, all that shit. That been my boy. Yeah. Yeah, so. And I'm like, him. Yeah, for sure. And like you said, you know, the internet definitely be tweaking on him, right? You know, uh, I always point out Reddit especially because that's how I discovered him. You know what I'm saying? They uh they seem to be infatuated and even still Man, now. Whoever behind that Reddit shit for my do something to they little ass. I ain't gonna lie, something gotta happen to their ass behind that Reddit shit, bro. Well, it's a lot of them. It's a whole community. It's not Man, just one person. Shit, I turn into hella connect to we Nazi and that whole team community, whatever. Them fool, they posted too much shit. That shit be fake anyway. Yeah, they do be posting a lot of fake shit. All that shit fake. Damn, yeah. For sure. Yeah, all that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, fake. You're right, That's you're what we right. gonna say. All that nah, shit you, fake. Nah, he is right, though. That shit do be <laughs> fake as fuck. All that shit fake. Um, But look, so, okay, so, so, looking at it from a fan's perspective, right? Yeah. We see all these different blog posts about this young man. Um, We hear the type of music that he's making. You know what I'm saying? The things that he's saying in his songs. You feel me? We see him snort a line on DJ UTV. You feel Tony, me? Tony Mob. Know and that. then a few weeks later, he's not here with us anymore. You know what I'm saying? So from the fans' perspective, it's like, damn, right? Like, like damn. Like, damn, that shit, this, this shit really real. You ain't think it was? But see, that's what it's I'm realistic. saying. That's what blood, that's why, that's what, that's why I love that blood. I blood always. Like it was it wasn't no rapper, rapper, like just rapping, none of that, that, but it was like oh some brother shit. He let him up. No, this reality blood at the end of the day. When I was come, first coming up. Cause Lil Joe, that's why I was by his side when this shit happened, bro. Cause he was by mine when this shit was coming up. When I was coming up, when I in January, before I even got locked up or anything on my cousin. So it's like he telling me, like, at the end of the day, little bro, you gotta understand this shit is reality. As much as you think this shit don't feel real, this is realistically. That's why it be in it. The, the internet though, he 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 got the internet. He knew how to use. Like he 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 said, I was, he knew how to manipulate it. They they, they slow as hell, fuck. Like I love my supporters and everything, but uh, other than other other than my supporters and all that, folk, these other motherfuckers is goofy out. But what they see on the internet, they really believe that shit. Blood took that shit, all that shit, like, ain't gonna lie, folks. Y'all know what y'all know. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. Um, we was just listening to one of the songs, you know, of yours featuring him, Pharaoh, right? Yeah, y'all um, gotta get blood on her, too. Huh? Y'all gotta get Pharaoh on her, too. Yeah, for sure. Big so op of our cousin. Yeah, so let's talk about that record, man. Um, it's called Running With Grave Diggers. Can you tell us how that, how that, how that song came about? Shit, it was one of them normal what's it called, fool. All perks in the studio, deep as hell. Okay. Everybody big, big op ass was sleeping shit. Everybody say, I ain't gonna lie for it. That's my been one more I can say that woke up out his sleep and made a raw ass verse. Word. His ass was sleep. He was baby sleep on my cousin grave in the studio like he was at the crib. He got up. Man, look, Joe, we all, I'm saying, man, we finna throw in a beat. From them. I threw my little shit running with Greg Dicks. I ain't even I ain't even thinking that shit, fuck. Mm. But we, you know, all three of us know we know, fuck. We come on, we from the fuck east side up with this shit. We all hopped on that bitch on my cousin Greg. And if I'm lying up that, we did not know that motherfucker was gonna do what it did, fuck. 
none of us, bro. But yeah. we knew we was gonna have some shit for the East Side. We was gonna fuck with though. We knew that. We knew that was gonna fuck everybody here, so right there. And they did though. So, you know, long live blood. That like that's my real fucking boy, folk. I'm proud of him, folk. Like I wish he was earlier though. Yeah. For now. Yeah, I like Lil Jeff a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like he was gonna be the one that was gonna be next up. Man, on oh my man, he and I ain't had, just saying that. I'm he real. got he had some shit in his bag, but hey, I see that ain't nobody like is already for for yeah my cousin Gray. But um, you know, you you've been doing your thing as well. You know, you've made a buzz. You know, and a name for yourself. You know, in a short amount of time. How do you feel about the comparisons to MAF Tiski? They say you know you sound just like him. <laughs> Oh, that's blood, folks. Um, that's blood, folks. Everybody keeps saying that, though. Man, for he got his own sound, folks. I got my own shit. Just, we two different niggas, folks. I'm Scoom. We we got a song out for That's Big Scoom. Because he's Scoom, too, right? Yeah, yeah. If you want to say, if you, yeah, if you say that, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? You know? That's Scoom. That's Scoom. Bro, that's Scoom. That's Big Scoom. Yeah, I f with Tisky though. That's my boy. Word. Can you tell us where you get the name Lil Scoom from? That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. I ain't even gonna say too much about that. Word. Yeah. Cause what does Scoom mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think it's crazy. Uh, who, who would you say is that? But nah, nah, nah. Cause look, okay. We oh shit. Nah, look, I right. We didn't talk to you. you. I already know what you for Tisky. that. I already right. know what you for that. Both from Cross Western, Lil Deuce. You know what I'm saying? I already saying? know what you for that, folks. You know, the, the word scoom, right? Like, scoom what? Oh, I ain't never, I ain't gonna lie, folks. So, who'd you, so who's I the was, scoom originator? I never, I ain't gonna lie. Look, I ain't gonna, let me say this. I ain't, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'll with Lil Zay music. I never heard them niggas say scoom. I swear to God. Until that shit happened, and that shit happened when um they was going back and forth with the little M block and the um when they get that scoom and we got all that shit. That's when I first heard scoom. My name been that though way before that. I never heard them niggas. Now Tiski, I was hearing when motherfuckers was calling me that. I heard Tiski come out with a song named Scoom. Then I'm like, damn, folk. Now everybody, that's when the Tiski appearance come from. Like, yeah, this woo, this and woo that. But nah, folk. But I ain't gonna lie. I didn't get scorned from none of them niggas, folk. I ain't gonna lie. I don't care what they did, that folk. Don't come to me about that. They ain't come to me about school. They just came to each other about that. Leave them. Leave me the fuck out there, bro. That's not my problem. <laughs> fuck wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time I heard it though was uh, T. Worry. From O Block. Oh, 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 cause somebody showed me that. that somebody video. did. Somebody showed me that he did say he said that shit first, but shit, fo, I fuck with Tisky for uh, DFG. I ain't got no bad fo. It is what it is with them fo. Yeah, free little dudes for sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah. Y'all niggas, y'all. I guess y'all just some scooming ass niggas. If we can all scoom and get along, <laughs> then you know, man, scoom, scoom, bitch. You know that fo, scoom the world. Fo. <laughs> what you talking about? But yeah. I Tisky though. Word. Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you tell us who the Lil Schoon top five drill rappers of all time is? Lil Schoon. Lil Schoon. Big Op. Lil Jeff. Chucky. You got to give me two more. Okay, you got a six man. Vaughn, Vaughn and um, Tiski. Okay. But you know what, man, who I been f with though lately? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, folk. I ain't gonna lie, folk. Uh, they, uh, they both from the same hood though. Uh, Lil um, uh, Rack Baby. Okay. Rack Baby and Lil KD, folk. Okay. KD Tweet, because he was playing about my bitch though. Pretty weird. Right. For now, that's my other last candy. That's your bitch? I do something to her. She was just over here uh get her hair done earlier. Oh my cousin, I do I'm something to her little ass. She gave me a watch on my cousin. Yeah, I'm I ain't like, no fan of her though. Yeah, I don't I can, listen. Nah, I can see y'all together though. Nah, I'm so down. Nah, look, look, the only reason I said that, cause my ex bitch with Instagram was named Pretty Leah, folks. 
I ain't never listened to Pretty Lee a day in my life, bro. She just looked bad as hell. <laughs> oh my god, I ain't never <laughs> listened to her music though, for real, but we gonna do shit like that. It's boy. a throw. That's what I said, right? It's yeah, I did. Nah, I heard hoes play that shit, bro. Right. Yeah, they I be twerking ass, to that. I love that ass bad. But yeah, KD put my bitch in. Yeah, folks talking about he had Pretty Lee and her friend, folks. Stop playing with me, folks. <laughs> Look, I'm looking in this camera right here. Band no KD. When you see this shit, boy, stop playing with my bitch, gang. Well, folks, if I had to do something to your little ass, <laughs> <laughs> you playing with my bitch, boy. I don't like all that shit. Nah, That's the problem, man. You niggas be ready to crash out on the Hey, nah, person. nah, for we don't do that shit over East, blood. We that shit out south. Out south niggas be crashing out about they bitch, for for real, for real, for, for real. real, right? It shit real out here in the field. And you and you eighteen saying that? Oh that my shit, man. that that's shit. That's fucked up, ain't it? Cause that's no, nah, that's real life. Mm. At every age, you feel me? A nigga dab about his bitch at age fifty nine. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, wow, folks. Yeah. These females gonna do what they gonna do, folks. You ever been in a situation where she was tender dick? Yeah. My bitch ain't get took though. I'm fucking her, but she played with me though. Okay. I was pulling up to her crib, all type of shit. Then up in the smoke color last gang on DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this shit real, folks. I ain't gonna lie, folks. But that was cause I gang, that was my first little bitch gang. Right, 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 right. That's how it be. I was a shorty, folks. Come on, <laughs> folks. I was buying that bitch shit, all type of shit. Right. Her not though, folks. Right, right. She trying to come back though, you know, it's busting. Yeah. Let me treat her ass like a slut now. Now nah, she just texted me and said I'll be treating her like a slut though. So, yeah, she you know. fucked up. Nah, it ain't up. Table okay. just turned, bitch. That's how it is. That's how I just told her. Table just turned, bitch. Just like that. Show that. So what's some uh, um like some future goals and aspirations for yourself? You 18 years old, bro. You definitely got the whole world in front of you, right? Like your whole life is in front of you, literally, right? Um, you know what you thinking about? Shit. What you want to be when you grow up? Shit, I want to be. Damn, I want the world. Like, where you want to be at age thirty three? Man, the fuck out the Chicago nigga, somewhere in fucking Europe in a big ass crib with my wife and kids, so not worrying about shit. That's what I want to be. I want to be. So rich. you want to live in a whole nother country? Man, yeah. You want to raise your family in Europe? Man, why not? They not going to be able to see the rest of their relatives. We come back, folks. It's always time. We're going to have enough money to come back. I'm trying to be wealthy and get the f on for what this fuck. Especially, first of all, I want to get the. My first goal now is get the f away from him, for Period, point blank. Like, I'm already. I'm like, I'm like, I already don't be in this month. Like, what's the point of living here, for If I already don't be here as, as much as I do. We can come back to this shit, folks. And I'm 18 saying this shit. It ain't shit out here for real, for real. But death, if you really want to be technical, my cousin. Yeah. Well, you know, um, they say home is where the heart is. You feel me? Yeah, that's true. But there's shit, no place like home. You want to live? You want to live your life or not? Type shit. Shit, I want to have kids, gang. I ain't gonna okay. lie, folks. I don't get no. F the toughest nigga. I don't get no. How tough you is on oh my dead cousin grave. What a real nigga scared of, nigga. Death and jail, death and fucking jail. Oh my cousin grave. Don't let no nigga tell you they not scared of that shit. Niggas get, I heard niggas get a jail doing real time. Calling back home talking about, man, oh my cousin, I wish I never did that shit. Right, yeah. that jail time ain't shit and death ain't either. Cause once you gone, you gone. Ain't no nine lives out there. Yeah, so when you say, you know, that's what all street niggas are scared of, it's kind of like, I guess, hypocritical because all street niggas know that they either go be dead or in jail and they still decide to do the things they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta ask them niggas. So maybe they not scared of it. What they getting out of it? What they doing? You, you got to make shit beneficial. My life, I hey, do. I, I don't think Lil Jeff is scared. Hell no. Nah. If you, he wasn't. Von wasn't scared either. See, like some niggas just don't be scared of that shit. Some niggas, you know, probably done made up in their mind. Like that's like, you know, like Fulio. Man. Down folks, in Florida. 
Fully hell, fuck. Now, why you say fuck him? Man, no. Everybody say fuck him. Now, why you say fuck him? No, fuck. Man, no. No, yeah, what Fulio do to you? Man, f no, dude, man. Just f no. He, he like, that's like dunk all over again. F no. Damn. That's it, yeah, fuck. It, we don't know them, gang, so it, I ain't gonna lie. If I don't know you, but your ass a goofy, just f you, gang. He was just doing, I just hated just like the goofy shit he was doing, for. Like silly goofy shit. Like you just chasing that shit. Go sit your goofy ass down. He got up with his goofy ass, folks. Shit, it is what it is, folk. That ass one got wiped, folk. In the words of Mansky, on my cousin Greg, his ass got wiped good on my cousin Greg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck up. Well, you know, my point was he knew, you know, you know, the way he was living his life as a street nigga. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I he was either going to be dead or in jail. But you say the same way you feel about Fulio, you feel about FBG Duck, too? You can't, man, f all GDs, fuck. Oh, damn, you GDK? Yes, to the bone, fuck. Okay. I even told my daddy that, fuck. He GD? Fuck him, gang. F GD. Your daddy GD? Yeah, fuck, man. F man, f the GDs. I don't even talk about them. Fuck, damn. them niggas is damn bad. <laughs> like, that shit. Like, fuck, that shit. On my cousin, this shit, frame my shit, talking about that goofy ass, fuck. Damn. Man, you can't even be GD around me, fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. <laughs> man, I heard. I heard. Nah, focus. I just seen some shit on Instagram about a nigga dissing the whole 63rd, all type of shit, talking about some woo this. They only been online because of at the Von Dad and shit, bro. And he was really tweaking me with that shit, bro. And it's like, for real, though. Like you was agreeing with him? Nah, I wanna agree with him for. I just I don't fuck with GDs my damn self. Oh, okay. That shit just look weird throwing up GD. Okay, cool. So tell us about the uh bad experience you've had with, you know, one of the GDs that made you GDK for life. Something happened, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Out by daddy and them crowd snitching on each other. All these, all these GDs do that goofy ass shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they some rats. You see butter. <laughs> <laughs> that should tell you right there. Don't be GD. Oh my cousin. Oh, <laughs> you see luck game, folks. That should tell you right there, folks. Yeah, for I'm the all right, but for I ain't got none to it. Fuck the GDs. That's it. And now, as small as this world is, as small as this city is, you know what I'm saying? You you told us earlier that your blood sister. Man, she got a man for. It's FBG Butter's girlfriend. Yeah, I hope. You know, you know, we know Tati at DJU. She 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 be here all the time. That's your blood sister. Man, yeah, I hope. Bro, uh, that's her doing that goofy ass shit. She want to talk to that goofy ass nigga. She want to look goofy as hell. That's her. I don't get no fuck. She grown as hell. That's my big sister. You want to do that goofy shit? Go ahead. Now you walking around with this broke ass nigga. And you proud. You, I, I don't know if that was a skit or not on this motherfucker. You got up and arguing with this ugly ass bitch. Knowing you look better than her. And like You doing goofy shit. It's your clown ass huh? Which one you talking about? Man, Jerry, you? Whatever this ugly ass bitch was, and they in here play fighting and shit. Goofy. Yeah, that was Jerry, you. That was that was script, bro. But still, <laughs> why is you doing goofy shit like that though? You see what I'm saying? That's just attention shit. You just want attention. I hate, I hate that shit. Like, for the well, to to your sister's defense, it was my idea, and. Since she had been coming around a lot with Buddy, I'm like, hey, Tati, I got something for you to do real quick. Man, you know look, what I'm saying? What the, what the fuck? Y'all not together no more. Now look at your goofy ass. On the internet, I'm looking at it as a fan standpoint. I'm looking at this as a, stand, a fan standpoint. I'm thinking this shit real life. Right. People is really thinking this shit real Nigga, life. I had my wig on, gang. You, I mean, Man, we called look, it Jerry U. Like. Yeah, but we thinking you just on some messy ass <laughs> shit. Like, you always on some messy ass <laughs> shit. I be watching this shit, fuck. I be for yeah, for He messy as hell, fuck. Yeah. 
Because then you had a little Charleston White in, the, in this moment. See, that shit. Charleston White? You felt like the Charles White shit was messy? Yeah, for that's. Hey, it was another nigga that came on here and told you you bogus as hell for doing that, for Yeah, you is, bud. Okay. You is bogus as hell for having this goofy ass up there. Okay. And famous Richard goofy ass, too. I f with famous Richard. Man, f dude. What are y'all? Yeah, yeah. Fuck dude. Dude, dude. I don't think he fucked the GDE either. He yeah, be on King David dude. every five Man, seconds. His ass from Minnesota. F dude. Fuck his room. His ass is pure thunky. For real. Thunky. Y'all ass down and looking like that's one of your Minnesota. cousins or something. His ass is a goofy on my cousin Greg. How the f you from all the way in the hundreds, but you do a no jumper interview with a not saying like I ain't got nothing towards OBN at all. Like I f with them through blood, but you got a whole, you from the hundreds, you got a whole nigga from, where the f you from for real, blood? You from the low end of the hundreds. Come on now, make it make sense. Goofy ass nigga. Yeah. He be chasing that shit too, blood. That ain't gonna lie. He say on King David every five seconds. No, he don't even know what well, King, oh, my people say, don't they been be these? Well, they been be these on King Box there, all that goof, man, shut your goofy ass up. <laughs> I'm my cousin. That's my ugly ass twin, cause they say we look alike. Yeah, I'm gonna say y'all look like cousins. I'm my cousin. His ass is a goofy. I'm my, that's my goofy, retarded ass cousin from Minnesota. Bro. Yes, <laughs> yeah, shout out Famous Richard. Man, man, dude. Cool, he cool. Who else? Who else you got on your head list? You throwing them out right now. <laughs> I ain't got nobody on my head list. <laughs> but it's just, it's just for him. Fuck him. He know what he talking. He know what he know. He know. That's why I said that. He know why. Like, you chasing that shit for real, my dear cousin. And I'm, me personally, I'm, I never, like, I let So, me. like, so, like, all right, right, let's break it down. You talking about, like, you know, he just lost his brother lately, right? His Recently, brother right? Okay, Fuck so Lil up. Josh. Man. From Paxtown. Lil Josh. What the? F that was the wrong name to bring up. That was his little brother, right? Man, f no. F Lil Josh and f Richard. Okay. <laughs> Both of them. Let me see a lot of blood. I came on one. I ain't gonna lie. I would have been chill if I would have been off perks, but I ain't off perks. I ain't on perks today. So do you pop the perks or do you snort them? <laughs> Both. That's for me to know, for that's how I, was I mean that's cool. Um That's for that's for you to know and for me to assume, right? So mm -hmm. usually I don't like to make assumptions, but I am gonna assume just based upon the guys that you hang out with. Damn, you know come saying? on, gay. That's that messy shit I'll be talking about, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best shit I be talking about. I just want to know why is y'all snorting these pills? Like, is you that in a rush to get high? Is it is it that serious, gang? <laughs> that you got to Because they, I guess they say that shit rushed right to your brain so you get high right away. I don't know. I've never done it before. I'm try. No, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> be a part of the Tony Mom. Ha! <laughs> Funny as <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, Tony Mob DJU, bro. Uh, yeah. Hell no. Nah. Tony Mob U, TMU. Oh, sir. Can't, can't do that one. <laughs> so, uh, when did you first start smoking weed? What age? Because you 18 now. I started smoking I started at smoking 18. at 10. My mama beat the. Damn. Huh? Ain't finished your weed? You start smoking at 10? Yeah, mama beat the fuck out of me, fool. She did. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When she found out she beat the f out of me. Okay, that's good. I stopped for like <laughs> two years. Started back at 12. She beat the f out of me again. Okay. Started back at 15. It was over. With. She stopped with me after that. Right. I'm full of It was over. With. Damn. I was that 15 was a year. My OG until it was a year. She damn near losing her. Mm. You was running your mama crazy. Damn. What was you doing? <laughs> was you in school? Did you finish school? Did you finish high school? I dropped out. Bro. Okay. What year? This year. Oh, you just dropped out. Yeah. You supposed to be in school right now? Yes. Damn. I was supposed to graduate. I was in locked up. I ain't even go to prom. Okay. <laughs> That's fucked up though. I, I want to go. I ain't going to say like, I want both of us to go to school, graduate and shit. I want that. I wanted that shit. I ain't going to lie. So you just dropped out this year? Was this year your senior year? Yeah. Okay. That's dumb as hell. I dropped out my senior year, I know, fool. 
everybody be telling when I tell them, they be like, damn, you dumb as fuck, you should finish out. Shit, if you knew what I knew, shit get real. Okay. So basically you was in a situation like you couldn't go back to school. Hell yeah, no, two niggas died. Okay, cool. So, so they killed two kids for in front of my school for. So you went to that school? Yeah, yeah. With the two kids that got killed. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. That's crazy. That's fucked up, ain't it? Mm. So do you plan on going back to get your GED? <laughs> Man, hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie. My GED. I ain't no dumb off folks. I used to be getting straight A's for for now. I know, no, nah, I do it though. I was a smart, I was a smart fucker, just did dumb ass shit. My mama called me a smart dumb ass, fuck. Man, this is interesting, bro. You see, I'm over here, I'm over here. Shocked as hell. I'm damn, hold on, I'm just adding it all up, you know what I'm saying? It's Tati's little brother, you feel me? 18 years old, it's, you, you the youngest guest. You feel me? Now you telling me you dropped out of school because you was actually a student at the school in which the two kids got killed in front of the school. We know who the internet say killed the two kids, you know what I'm saying, in front of the school. Like, damn. I don't know nothing. This shit crazy. I don't know nothing. Man, bro. Yeah, man. This shit real, folks. Motherfuckers better start opening their eyes, bro. I don't know nothing with that shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's over with now. You know what I'm saying? Man, dude, what you trying to say, fuck? What you mean? I said, what you mean it's over? Oh, yeah, it is over. Oh, yeah. But now nah, I thought you was trying to say, because, like, brother, you know? I'm saying all of those that was involved. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You know what I'm saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know shit about that, fuck. I don't know. Yeah. But no, nah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just picking up, you know, who Lil Scoom is and you know, who he know. Cause it ain't what you know, it's who you know. You feel me? Who I know. I'm just saying, nigga, you know a lot of people. You related to a lot of people. Yeah, I am bro. Yeah. You look like a lot of people. Man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So what's you know, what's what's some things you're looking forward to in life though, bro? You young as hell for real, man. And look, I'ma just tell you this, you know. Cause I gotta tell you this, man. It's, it's 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 a lot to life, bro. You feel me? You 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 ain't gotta you ain't gotta risk it all for nothing. That's all I'm trying to say. You see what I'm saying? Fuck oh, no. I ain't saying the wrong thing, folks. You ain't gotta risk it all for nothing. Trust me, bro. The 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 the, the crash out tendencies that shit ain't about nothing, folks. Cause I'm telling you, like, you once you get up in them jams, bro, then you gonna be thinking about a whole lot of shit. I'm telling you. You feel me? Like everybody be thinking that shit sweet. Up until, you know, and then, as you know, I'm sure, it be the same stories. You know what I'm saying? The niggas be gone for years, and what they, they man, shorty, stay out. The, you know what I'm saying? It's the same speech. You feel me? Yeah, folks. So I just want to say something while I can. You feel me? That's nah, you something. ain't saying shit wrong, though. I ain't going to lie. You ain't saying shit wrong. I wish a motherfucker would have been told me that a long time ago. But shit, it is what it is now, folks. All I can tell them off, that's my folk. That's why I'm trying to do the best I can, folks. So I'm my, none of my niggas I be around, none of, nah, I ain't gonna say niggas, none of my brothers I be around, folk. Like, had to go through that, folk. I'm trying to set that, like, general well, folk. Motherfucker, a lot of motherfuckers don't know what that mean at my age, folk. That's what I'm trying to spread, though. Generational, like, you know? Yeah. Okay. They kids kind of that shit. So my for his kids don't want to go through this shit. I just really just told my bitch this yesterday, gang. Like, my cousin, like, I don't even trying to, I don't want my, like, this ain't no lifestyle, like, no kids should go through, for. It's not. Like, these little shorties out here doing goofy shit. Like, my little buddies out here too, though, but motherfuckers was damn up put in a situation. If you ain't put in this situation, don't put, don't, you know? This shit, not for you. Your ass can. Like this, for them. Stay out the way. Stay to school. Find something else to do. Stream or something. It's busting like that. You gonna wish on my cousin? Cause with us, motherfuckers disappear like this. Magic. <laughs> for them, but shit, we still young and shit. 
We was put in this situation, folks. Uh, this shit is what it is, folks. That's why I'm busting right now, folks, so I get my homies and them out there, shit. That's my goal. Get my homies, my, my OG, my family out there, shit, folks. At least when my grandma passed, my, my first, my grandma, my daddy said, but at least I want to do something to make my, uh, my grandma and my mama say I'm proud, folk. For she leave, folk. Because shit, right. ain't nobody on my family really did shit. But at least I want to be the first person to say, yeah, I did this for my family, folk. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that. Hey, uh, I mean, you pretty much did just leave a message for the youth for sure. But I just really want you to. Um, Send a message to, cause you 18. So I want you to look at like the young niggas that's graduating, probably eighth grade right now. They on their way to high school. You know what I'm saying? They like 13, 14, you feel me? They probably just now jumping off the porch. You know what I'm saying? Just starting to, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? Do little shit, right? You know, what's, what's, what's some advice you can give to them? Don't diss us and your ass to stay alive. That's all I'ma say. That's all the fuck I'ma say. Don't diss us and your ass gonna stay alive. Cause all the shorties be like to talk crazy and shit, get all that tough hair and shit. So don't diss us and your ass gonna stay alive. Don't hang with them other ass niggas and y'all gonna ain't shit. You know shit gonna be wrong, gonna fuck them. Matter of fact, just come on the east side. We fuck all y'all shorties up. We ain't recruit none of y'all though. We just need y'all for one reason. <laughs> So you, do you, yeah. do you, you spend a lot of time in LA? Yeah, yeah, ever since I got out. Word. Yeah. Was you locked up for a long time? Cause you keep saying ever since I got out, yeah, I ain't right. even asked you about man, that shit. Man, for goofy shit, hell yeah, bro. Okay. For the goofy shit man. ever. Stay out of jail. Send me a song, that man. Shit, you fuck. a rapper now, you know? You're not a criminal. I know I'm not, fool. I am. I'm the clown prince of criminal. A crime. That's what I am. You say you're a crime. The clown prince of crime. Oh, so you are a criminal. Just had when they when when this drop, when this drop, they gonna and, and they look that shit up, they gonna see what I'm talking about. What's the name of it? Uh damn, what the fuck? Oh, Mr. Button. This bitch finna go, this finna be on the tape, folks. He was out there a little goofy dude, uh, Rico Reckless. He's goof ass, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we be out there with this goof ass. <laughs> I haven't said the same shit earlier. You said what? I said Burp was saying the same shit earlier. Yeah, oh, bro, we be out there with this goofy ass, fuck. His goofy ass put us on the phone. I tweak with his ass. I asked him what I asked him, what about you and that Ruger shit, folks? He man, Ruger, man, man, for the whole time. We talk all the time. He on the phone with Remo. I'm in the background telling this goofy ass man, yo ass scared. He was scared to pull up on Ruger. Yo ass scared. He know how for I wasn't never scared. He just ain't never called me when I popped out the my cousin Greg, I'm telling this ass, I'm damn, folks. <laughs> they be frying my shit, boy. They ain't gonna like, cause they be looking goofy as hell, folks. Like these grown niggas, not these niggas that we used to look at for. I be looking right. at them like y'all be still trying to look gangster and shit like. Right. Especially his goofy ass. Yeah, that's. I ain't gonna lie. That's a, that's a great point that you point out. Cause like, like dumb old niggas like blood. Like we was watching y'all for y'all old as hell. Y'all damn near thirty. I ain't gonna lie for it's personal like. And these you, niggas over 30. I just told you I'm 33. These niggas be older than me. That's what I'm saying, blood. But that's what I'm like. Like, I ain't gonna lie, for Me personally, you 25 with your shit together, and you in the streets, get the fuck out the streets. That's your limit. You 25, you too damn old now, fo. I ain't gonna lie, you need to be out the way. But if you don't, you got to 30, fo. If you 30 and still game banging, what the fuck is you doing? You you asking to get your ass white. You should have kids somewhere gone, fo. You still game banging. That's why niggas be dying with their kids and shit, cause they still trying to be out here and shit. That's goofy shit. Oh, but shit, that's they goofy ass. I know me, folk. I get this shit. I'm trying to get this shit before I turn 21. Fool them. Little blood only, what, 15? Nah, he's 16. He's gonna be 17. Oh, 
cousin. I'm trying hey, to get bro. this shit together, folk. So we get the fuck on. What do you think is the um, cutoff age for a nigga trying to be a rapper? Because you 18, so you know you fresh in it, you know? I feel like rapping is a young nigga sport. <laughs> 24. It be niggas that is 24. If you ain't bossing, bossing on my cousin grave, and you 24, just not starting to rap. Hell nah, but hang that up. If you ain't with this new wave shit, hang that shit up. That old school shit, y'all think? Vaughn fucking up. Vaughn fucking shit up with the old school beast mixing it with the new beast, folks. So he fucking it up with these old niggas trying to bring back that old shit. Leave that shit in the 2000s, folks. Oh, you talk about Vaughn up 1700? Yeah, he been fucking shit up. I ain't gonna lie. With them old school beats, I ain't gonna lie. He been ripping shit. Yeah. Them grown, these grown niggas trying to come back and rap. Like, I seen a nigga Ruger still trying to rap. I know your grown, overgrown, goofy ass not still trying to rap, but what the fuck is you doing? Like, and then I be just seeing little shit, but that shit be tweaking me on the internet. They be grown as hell. Still be trying to be like they young as hell. I ain't gonna lie, I, 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 be, I know I be saying f yeah, because I, I know what this shit come with, so I really be on some like f everybody type shit, but shit, me personally, fo, that beef shit, fo, that shit don't be worth it, fo, that shit f up the bread, but I ain't gonna lie, that shit really do f up the bread. But don't you get more views if you like diss people in your music? Man, shit, you know what the consequences come behind that? True. I know, that's what me, that's what me don't realize, fo, y'all thinking this shit entertainment purposes, fo, that shit. At the end of the day, you know the consequences motherfuckers got stuff behind that. After I dropped that song, a month like Nightcrawler, that did a million fucking video, million fucking views. But you know how many motherfuckers are destined now? And motherfuckers that call, got I got calls from like, yeah, who this? Like that shit fucked up. I'm name dropping and all that shit. So it's consequences that come with that shit, folks. Yeah. The big out video, I got shit backlash from that shit. I was saying little shit about the snakes, even though it is them, but shit. Yeah, you definitely like uh, you 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 becoming one of the um one of the Reddit favorites. You know what I'm saying? They be yeah. posting what you be you know posting on your story, and they, you know what I'm oh, saying? They be watching my shit, but yeah. You so I be so they know I be on some like and we I'm like fuck everybody, but shit. I really be I don't really be meaning. Everybody for real. It's really like if you ain't like if you ain't got no problem towards us, we ain't got no problem towards you. But if you f with them niggas, or if you anyway say you ain't got no problem, you got a problem towards us. So with y'all for fuck y'all, it's up. We yeah. ain't gonna talk. Yeah. So you definitely like ten toes game banging right now. Like you hella game banging right now. I'm chilling. That's what I'm doing. Right. Doing me. Doing what I've been doing. All right. Right okay. Yeah, yeah, man. We chilling right now. <laughs> we chilling. Man, y'all, y'all niggas something else, man. Hey. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, folk. My boy Dooski and my boy Blockstar. These niggas is is preachers, folk. Them preachers, folks, cause they be over preaching to me, bro. But that's 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 the like that's the them the niggas you need to have around you though, for to keep you in the right direction. I ain't gonna lie, I'm the type of nigga I said a few times. After that, I ain't gonna say it no more. You know what I'm saying? What? You feel me? That you, cause the motherfucker go do right. Motherfucker do what they want to do anyway. So yeah, but you still, but like you know, them your brothers, they like these my brothers. So like. I know, I'm a, I'm a type of nigga. I listen. Like that's what that's what's wrong with is not. Like if you in the streets, you need your mouth closed and your eyes and ears open at all times. For close y'all fucking mouth. Oh shit! I'm so glad I opened Reddit up because you was finna get out of here. Ooh, you was what? finna get up out of here. What? I was finna let you get up out of here, little Man, school. don't ask no goofy ass questions. Cause we gonna walk out there. And say, <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck them, man. Hey, hold on, little school. I was finna let you get out of here, and I, I think I was just on Vert Live, like tell little school I'm on his ass. Who? Oh no, I was on AMF Live. I was on some. I was on Vert Live. 
Oh hell no, fuck. We finna walk up out this bitch. Oh my god, the girl. Yeah, what's what you want, love scone? What you want? No, what you talking about though? <laughs> we finna bring up that goofy ass <laughs> shit. <laughs> what is you all, love scone? Man, fuck. I ain't talking <laughs> no goofy ass shit. What you say? What you say? They said this nigga love scone with freaky shooter. Now nah, what you was on with this love scone? <laughs> what you was on, gang? <laughs> tell us what tell us what happened, bro. Tell us what was going on, guy. You was at, so you was at school. Man. You was at school. Man, fool. Man, fool. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta explain it to us, gang. You you know you gotta tell us this. <laughs> we wanna know. Man, look. Yeah, they need a part nah, two. Nah, 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 nah. Hell no. Nah. No, nah, so you almost I, get out of here without me. I just, I swear. Look, folks. Look, folks. No, because I had to get on Lil Buki ass. He got mad. He was, he, because he, he got old videos twerking. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, nah, he was twerking. That's <laughs> different. He different, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to lie, folks. He <laughs> different, <laughs> folks. He on some daddy shit, folks. I ain't going to lie, folks. Me on some shorty shit trying to press holes and goofy So you shit, was mooning. Bro. He was twerking. You was mooning. I wasn't mooning. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> I ain't with none of that, that Gucci shit. I ain't with none of that Gucci shit. Hey, mooning is crazy, guys. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, though. I ain't gonna lie. My dead grandma, fool. Let me, let me just say this now, though, fool. My dear cousin. Any nigga, any nigga. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I, nah, though. That's how I'm saying this, fool. Any nigga that play with me on my dear grandma, <laughs> on my cousin girl, I'm just saying that night. On my dear grandma. A lot of niggas that tried to play like shit was chicken ass on my cousin girl. Died on my 19 times, jaw shots, all type of shit. All type poof. of fucked up shit. That's all I'm saying. Poof, poof, for real, for real. No bullshit. So let niggas want to keep playing like this shit a game and shit, my cousin. No, I don't know what the fuck Buki was doing, what the fuck. I seen that shit, but I, what the fuck? That shit took me on. But nah, they said some other goofy shit, though. Talking about how they tried to blacklash my shit. They tried to, to black my, new, my song I got with Shorty. I said, like, he used to who way back in school, his ass a goofy. They try to backlash my shit. Cause I, oh, used, okay, I, okay. I used to hoop and shit. Right. I'm feeling it. Like, come on now. Like, everybody used to hoop. This shit ain't this shit ain't rocket science. Even the gangster this nigga alive used to hoop. Come on now. That shit kept me out of trouble and shit. I was hooping in the park dishes and shit. Right. Still doing my shit, bro. Right. Like, don't think take that and think like, damn, I'm don't think like for I ain't just come out the womb and pull a bone. Oh yeah, I'm finna stick up there. I did hoop and shit for I played sports and shit for hey yeah, tweaking me out. But if you these new shorties though, fool, jumping off like 2023, fool, ah, oh, that goofy ass shit, fool. At least mine was was uh like months before I COVID hit, fool. I was doing bad shit for. So somebody posted that video to respond to something you had already posted about somebody yeah, or something? Yeah, nah, yeah. I made a little diss to a little shorty that just jumped off the porch. 2023. Right. And then they was like, oh, okay, look at this. Bro, I got something. 2019 and shit. When I was hooping and shit, bro. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they know not to play with Lil Scone. <laughs> shit. I don't know, bro. They ain't play. Hey, you ain't seen nobody walk. You ain't got videos or niggas. Hey, I seen rappers get walked up on all type of shit. You ain't got shit on me for. You don't see niggas playing on me for. Or I hood, especially anyone on my good girl. No niggas play. That's what's crazy though. As all the shit you can see on the internet, name like you can. I want somebody to pull up some shit when niggas like really play with us. And if they did, ask them if 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 something happened behind it, and let them tell it for they tell you. That's why I say we run the east side. Y'all over east, like over there, it's like, it's like some Mexicans over there, right? Shit, all, yeah, but I was, yeah, every, over cousin. like where y'all at though, right? Yeah, all through that shit. Type shit. 
They be they be over there gang banging and shit too. Them near thing too. You know them Mexicans, they ass crazy. They different. Them two, they just think too. Wanna go on? <laughs> we in there in the east side. We, we go through the whole east side, man. Let me tell you. We run the east side. And people that we f with still be on their blocks too. Cause what what do you consider the east side? State to Lake or? Shit. Who? State to Lake? No. Man. Man, look, yeah. look, 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 I got it. I f up. I f up. I f up. I f up. I bloodhound them, folks. I f up. bloodhound them. So, cottage to the lake, to the lake, folks. That's how I put it, folks. Because I f up with them, folks. Ain't gonna lie. But I ain't talking about who you f I'm talking about geographically, with you being from the east side. Cottage to the lake. That's what I mean. Cottage to the lake. I feel like real east side shit is like stony. That's what I did say, though. Like, stony is it, but like, blood and them, they consider east side, too, though. I still consider Cottage Grove and all that shit like out south because Cottage right next to I, King Drive. I you know said that saying? though, but shit like yeah. once you hit Stony, you on the east side. Mm -hmm. God damn it, you yeah. on Stony Island, you on the east side. You know what I'm saying? But like, well, blood and them, they shit right there to Stony though. I mean, it ain't no offense to them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, yeah, like, for they east side too. For, we, fuck with, we fuck with blood and them too. If they east side too, that means state to lake. It's the east side. If you go you consider, know, you feel you know, me? They, state Far as Hill. Hell no. State a couple streets away from Cottage. A couple Come on man. now. Hell no. You still gotta pass King Drive. Not King even Drive, 400 man. East. Man. Cottage, 800 East. Man, hell no. Man. That's out south. That shit, part of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, but man, man. No, no, I definitely enjoyed this combo with you tonight, man. It was uh, it's better than I expected. You feel me? Um, this is actually the better one that I've done um, with the young guys that I've been interviewing lately. No offense to them, but this is. You feel me? I, I don't be on shit for these. They be trying to make it seem like I'm a f demon out here, for. I be chilling, for. They be trying to make it seem like I be. We be getting to all type of. Don't nobody want to come. We be just out here, fool. Damn, fool. We be chilling. Yeah. Look, <clears throat> stay dangerous, bro. You see what I'm nah, saying? Nah, Keep nah. your head up. Um, uh, I definitely like to chop it up with you again. You see what I'm saying? You know we're gonna be back on there for tweaking. Yeah. So that's what's up, man. Uh, Lil Scoon. Know that. DJ UTV. Come shout out. out to uh, shout out to Loose Leafs for blessing us with these uh, loose leafs, right? Um, the finest cigars, you know, you could be smoking on right now. This shit better than backwoods. Shout out to Royalty Production, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Jay, you go crazy!